Now that we have some validation logic, we want to show an error when the email and password are empty so that the user knows what to do to enter the correct data in our form. So here is what we're going to do. In our widget class, we're going to the build email text field. And in here, we can add a bool value, uh, which is going to be email valid. And in here, we can type in widget dot email validator dot is valid with underscore email and then we can locate the input decoration object and here we can add a new property which is called error text and in here we can type in valid email sorry email valid and then the ternary operator so if the email is valid we're going to return null otherwise we can say email can't be empty like this. So let's try this out. I can hot reload and then if I delete all the text in my email field, I can see that the appearance of the text field changes and I get this error text in red. And as soon as I start typing in my email again, the text field goes back to the normal state. Okay, so this is useful. However, I feel that the error text itself should not be hard coded in here because the error that we present depends on the validator that we use. So what I'm going to do now is to copy this text and then I can head back to the validators class. And in here, I'm going to type in a final string invalid email error text equals and then the value that we were using before. And while I'm here, I'm going to copy paste this line and I can do the same thing with the password as well. So here I can type invalid password error text and then the text is going to be password can't be empty. Next, what I can do is to use these values inside the text field declaration. So here I can just remove this text and say widget.invalidEmailErrorText. And then I want to copy this logic and have it very similar inside my build password text field. So here I can say bool password valid and then widget dot password validator and then is valid underscore password like this. And I can also add an error text property to my password and here I can say password valid and then null if the password is valid, otherwise widget dot invalid password error text. So I can now hot reload once again, and I can see that I now get an error on the password field. And if I start typing in a password, the error goes away. Okay, so we have seen how to use error text. So let's continue on the next video.